everyone. This is Tina from Kaz's Treasures. And tonight, or today, depending on when you're watching this, I am going to be doing a card from Pink and Main. Um, I'm using the MTF, My Favorite Things card sketch. Um, I have some other cards to show you at the end that I've already done. Those I just did out of my head. But um, I printed off some card sketches, and so I decided I was going to try one and see what we could come up with, or see what I can come up with. So this card sketch, um, I'm going to be following it pretty closely. Like I said, it's MT MFT's um, number 537. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm using Pink and Main's April card kit. Um, it's called uh, In the Garden. So what I'm going to start with is I went ahead and I cut an oval out already and I stamped it and heat embossed it with um, Take Time to Smell the Flowers. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. And so I'm going to be using this pattern paper along with a scrap of pattern paper I have left and some yellow card stock that came in the kit. This is cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. And uh, to start, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some Versamark ink. And I'm going to just watermark this uh, sheet all over the place using the little flower that comes and I'm just gonna kind of, hopefully, I'm not seeing anything right yet, but hopefully we'll get a real subtle kind of um, pattern on here. Get this. So it's been kind of a wet, miserable day here. We went from 89 degrees yesterday to today it's been in the 60s. It's been pretty miserable, but I kind of like a wet, rainy day. It gives you time to regroup and uh, just not have to worry about putting the air conditioner on. Last night was miserable sleeping. I was not going to turn the air on for one day. Um, I had the fan blowing on us. The dogs were really miserable, poor things. But, you know, they hopped in the bed, and they were getting the fan, too, so I wouldn't feel too sorry for them. Let's see. One more time. I was going to, originally, I've got uh, little leaves on here. Well, we might as well try some leaves. See what we can come up with. This is really subtle. I don't know if you're going to see this. I was hoping for a tad darker on here. But um, that's not what we're getting. I could heat emboss, but I think it might be a little too late for that. Let's see. Uh, I will try showing this to you up to the camera. Uh, a few more spots. Been a bit since I did a video, which is what I say every time. But sometimes I'm just in a real quiet mood. And I don't think that would be good for, for videos. See, so it's really subtle. Now, can you see that? In fact, I think I overlapped a little bit, but that's okay. But this will work. We got enough color going on with the other things. So I put that apart. I have sometimes I like to use VersaFine, and uh, depending on the card stock, sometimes you get a real good watermark. Um, other times it is just a little bit more like this. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and this, I'm going to put uh, this scrap here. This is exactly to the card, um, card sketch. It's one and three quarters. 
I'm going to just glue that down. And let's use some tape runner. Get that going. Let's see. I'm just going to stick it. Mm. Ooh, I got that mark there. Figures. Uh, well, we're going to go this way. And we'll glue that down. And we will go ahead and just cut that off. going to be kind of a quiet week here. I've got some cleaning up to do uh, before the weekend. Next week I'm going to be on my first vacation in like two, two weeks or two years with me and my daughter. I mentioned it before but we're going to New Orleans. It looks crooked to me. Let's pull that up. Uh, that came up real easy. But yeah, um, I promised it to her as a birthday gift a couple years ago, and we're just now going. And I wish I was taking all three of my kids, but she's the only one who could get the time off. It's, it's going to be fun either way. Now I just owe my other two something as well. Let's see. Is that still crooked? That's... Let's get the tea ruler out if it's handy. I cannot put stuff on straight to save my life. Oh, that's pretty damn, excuse my French, pretty close. We're gonna keep that. And now we are going to put this on here. I think we'll put it that way. This time we'll use glue. Yeah, this is, <laughs> is going to be a little quicker than I wanted, even. Maybe I should make two cards. Well, when I show you the other ones, maybe we'll, we'll eat up a little bit of time there. And my glue does not want to come out. There we go. And get that all over the place. A little messy. Um, this says, take time to smell the flowers. I... And uh, I'll show you a little bit of this card kit when we're done making this card. It's really pretty. It's a little bit limited because um, it's got like three sentiments and they're all like about flowers. Take time to smell the flowers, live life in full bloom. And when flower, where flowers bloom, so does hope, which is really pretty. I love that sentiment. Let's get this cut off here. The nice thing about a lot of Pink and Main stamp sets is you don't really have to color because um, the stamps do it for you. They're like, uh, you stamp them and they're, they're solid. So this has that little bitty tag on it. And I think for that, I'm going to use this sparkle tape, which came in the kit which is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And let's hope we get this straight. Oof. And, okay, uh, fishtail, where are my smaller scissors? I'm gonna put a little fishtail in that, make sure that's where we want it. It's a little long. Fishtail that. I am not real good with fishtails, so let's hope I don't screw it up too bad. I don't know why it shouldn't be this hard to do a fishtail that's even, but somehow I always manage to mess it up, which is why if I can use a die to make a fishtail, I do. You know, I know they don't have to be perfect, but it really bugs me if they're way off. I'll have to keep cutting them and cutting them, and eventually it's just they're too short to use. Try to get this tape off. Here we go. 
and it just went back down again. Anybody else struggle with this kind of stuff? Am I the only one? You know, we watch people on tape and it's like, boom, it's like, they're just pulling off stuff right and left and not seeming to have problems. And then I get on camera and I'm struggling with it all. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put that right. I think I'm gonna overhang it just a bit so I can cut it off even. There, 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 pretty. more scissors around here than I know what to do with. If you could see the rest of my desk, it is just packed full of like stuff. And I'll put that on a card base. Um, I'm going to use the, the uh, score buddy trick where we put it in the corner here and we line that up. So let's get it real good. Okay, and again, let's okay, make sure I don't put this on upside down because I have done that before. You know, if you can screw up a card in some way, I have done it. Believe me, you would be amazed at some of the stupid things I have done with card making. I haven't even been at it this long. There we go. Take time to smell the flowers. I'm going to show you what I mean about uh, these being solid. I'm going to take some, uh, this is Spellbinder's uh, Crushed Curry. And I'm just going to take this and put that right in the corner there. Voila. It'll uh, even out a bit as it dries. It won't be quite as splotchy as that. And let's take uh, take time to smell the flowers, and then we'll go ahead and live life in full bloom. We'll take uh, some Versafine, and we'll put that on the inside. There we go. Okay shut these before I put my hands all in them. And lid, lid, lid. Okay, uh, I said I wanted to show you some cards I had done. This is the one we just made on camera. Take time to smell the flowers and the inside. Live life in full bloom. Then we have got um, I, I think other cards I had made. This one, it is a little watering can, a little plant. All this comes in the card kit. And it comes with um, a die. There is always hope. And so I had inlaid that with yellow um, letters. Everything here came in the card kit, with the exception of the ink. Now this is... Um, this is Memento Pistachio. The orange is Terracotta Tile from Stamping Up. Um, the brown is Soft Suede Stamping Up. And the blue is um, Seaside Spray. And this on the inside where flowers bloom, so does Hope. That's pretty. And this one, we just reversed um, this inlay I did here. So, and this is with the green, there is always hope again. And this beautiful pattern paper that came uh, with the kit. And so did this sheet of um, glitter cardstock. It's just lovely. I love it. So I kind of just, I had seen on a card recently where somebody took circles and instead of uh, centering them, they kind of moved it down and I, I thought oh that's a nice look let's do that and so we did that and then of course I have this background paper with the little textured polka dots that stick up that came with the kit as well and the inside of this we have take time to smell the flowers the only bad thing like I said about this kit is not a whole lot of sentiments and they're all flower related now this 
card right here. I thought I would try something different. I took some Gina K, um, uh, what is it? The Gina, Gina K Glitter Glitz Gel. And I used a stencil that came in the kit. Let me show you this really pretty stencil. It's uh, really pretty. So I just took a small piece of paper and I put that on here along with, uh, I had this paper scrap and then the beautiful pattern paper that matched this. And um, I am always, I am here for you always. That came from another Pink and Main card kit. I believe it was uh, July 2020, Sunshine and Smiles. So I went ahead and I um, put that on there because obviously I had no flowers on this card. And on the inside, Be Happy, and that was from the same 20, um, July 2020 card kit. And the orange and everything else, though, aside from the uh, glitter, glitz glitter, came with the card kit. And there's the inside of this card. Now for this one, we've got Where Flowers Bloom, So Does Hope, that... Um, I went ahead and I heat embossed that with a fairy dust um, fairy dust embossing powder that I got from Brutus Monroe. It's clear, but it's just got a little bit of glitter sparkle in it. And so I heat embossed that because it's on the pattern paper and I didn't want it to smear. Now this is an embossing folder that came with this month's kit. You can see it matches all the pretty roses that um, came on the stamp and the pattern paper. So instead of doing a whole background, I just took a little bitty thing and I used the different pattern papers from the kit and the enamel dots from the kit and uh, just came up with this design. I love this card. Live life in full bloom with the orangish flower and the little bitty tiny scrap of the gingham. This is such a pretty orange gingham, and I'm normally not a fan of orange, but these oranges, just something the way they kind of go together with the yellow, it just really pops, and I think it's it's lovely. Now here we've got, take time to smell the flowers on a piece of green um, cardstock with the, we've got the green glitter tape right here, some blue enamel dots, to match the blue dots in the background. You can see again, I'm using the yellow uh, rose pattern paper, which is where we got the scrap for the card that we did here just uh, a few minutes ago, wherever I stuck it in this pile. That's where this scrap came from. And I went ahead and I stamped out and um, die cut the little pot and uh, the flower and these are actually a die little uh, banner dies but you can fishtail them yourself you don't need a die for that and then I've got a hole punch I used for this this is a two two inch um, circle and then a barely peeking through scallop in the back and we open that and we've got live life in full bloom with our little bitty decorative strip and again, this is the pistachio, memento pistachio, crushed curry, and then uh, Versafine black. That's not heat embossed at all. Now this kit did come with uh, come with came with a bunch of pattern paper. I'm not going to pull it all out. There's plenty of unboxings out there if you want to look. Pattern paper. I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, here's our stamp set. We've got the hat and the watering can. The little Galash rain boot glove. I didn't use any of these, uh, the boot, the hat, or the glove yet. I still may get around to using those. And I showed you the stencil. We've got the dies that go with all of the different stamps. And then the um, word die. Um there is always hope, which is just so beautiful. And of course, we've got the little enamel dots, some sequins, and the embossing folder, which I believe I put away already with the rest of mine. And that 
is it for tonight. Um, I hope everybody has a great time tonight and enjoys watching lots of videos. And if this one didn't drive you too crazy or bore you too much, I hope you'll think about subscribing. And I hope to be back soon with another card kit to show you and make some cards or talk you through or bore you or maybe make you giggle. I don't know. At any rate, have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.